I've created this XPacker utility to help you and, and myself to import objects into Pops Track Builder. Um, it basically manages and creates XPacks with materials and textures and objects in them. Uh, to begin with, you just create a, a name there, um, choose wisely because uh, you can't change it, it sort of locks out at this stage. Create a description. Um, save that off and you'll notice here that um, you've got a couple of messages so far of what's been created. If we go to the folders we can look in the Bobstack Builder folder there's an XPacker folder underneath that there's an XPAX where you're going to create your own XPAX. So it's created one of that name and underneath it it's got a number of folders they're all empty at this stage and it's got a description which actually contains what we just typed fairly simple so far. Um, you can load up a image that will be represented in Bobstack Builder when you go to the expansion packs and then we get to the interesting part where we've got objects. Objects um, at the moment I only support three yes files so they don't actually know what, what units are, are used in those files that's um, uh, safe without the unit of measurement in there so you have to guess and import and rescale if need be or re-import. Um, so you hit the import button, find the file you want. I'm only accepting textured files at the moment because the shaders BTP users are all textured shaders. Um, and that brings in the house. Uh, it allows you to set a number of properties, the level of details and other things that will be the, the band um, basic standards for the any object created in Bobstrack Builder um, and you can use the separation group there which is used in the planting um, and you can give it a path you can fix it up here and put in buildings and um, give it a, a good description um, you can set the randomness default values uh, I've explained a bit about that in the object planting tutorial. Uh, there's normals, you can create default normals and then modify them manually in the XML if you wanted to. If you don't create them here, BTB creates them later on when you import the, or when you first load up the object. And you've got edit, which allows you, this object when created wasn't created on the ground, so you can lower that to the ground and centers the object as well so the point of rotation is in the middle of the object um, if the scale didn't work you can scale it here um, save that off and um, you'll know that the file uh, got created under here in the same path that you used um, these files get moved around so if I were to come back here and say buildings 2 and save that um, this has actually gone and recreated it as buildings too. Um, likewise with your materials, um, that's the original one so we can um, have that for the same structure. Um, house and you could call it roof, um, or actually it's walls. Call it walls, and save that off. Um, you've got the diffuse and different shaders you can use. That's not really supported at the moment because when you come here you can actually load it because I haven't coded it yet. Um, but you eventually we'll be able to do um, change the transparency, the specular color and power, um, the R factor material name, um, the default scales, and um, yeah, you do likewise for the other materials and um, then your textures is the last thing where you've got the, the roof and the walls and you can replace those and it'll warn you about the MIP levels because this is a BMP file uh, it doesn't have MIP levels so you're best off swapping it out for a, a DDS file um, it'll give better results in your your final project um, so once all of that is done um, you'll simply go to file zip to BTB give a quick message about where it's going to put it and um, now if you go to expansion packs I've got new X pack there which has got the icon that I loaded up hit OK to that 
and now if we go to our files we'll find it there and we can drop it and there it is it's in BTB um, the only other thing to mention is that you can open an XPAC folder uh, okay and there's a bug um, currently I've got it in in loaded up so um, if we just fire that up again there's something not to do um, so now if I went and opened that XPAC folder you can see that that's got your description that loads up and that's got the objects and textures and everything there as before um, as you can see it is still very buggy um, it's pretty fresh code I'm still working on it um, but if you um, play around with it you can probably work around its quirks and that's all I've got to say for the moment no need to report uh, bugs um, I will try and fix as much as possible before getting your help in identifying what's left to, to fix